Hello, my name is Robert Marquez, and today we're going to go over video number two in the series of Model View Presented with WinForms. In today's video, we're going to cover setting up the SQLite database that is used by the demo application. So let's get started. So we're going to get started by going to a website called sqlitebrowser.org. And that's is this is where that's at. And I'm here because I'm after a tool here called DB Browser for SQLite. So on this page, I'm going to go ahead and download the 64-bit version of it, clicking the button here. And when it when it asks to either run it or save it, I'm going to go ahead and save. And then open it in the folder that it downloaded it into, which should be my download folder. And here is the executable it downloaded. I will go ahead and right click it and select Run as Administrator. Click Yes. And I'll just go ahead and take all the defaults. and finish. Okay, so since the purpose of this video series is for MVP with WinForms and Visual Studio, I'm not going to really spend any time with SQLite uh, creating uh, tables and, and data, databases within Visual Studio. I'm just going to go ahead and use this tool. That's why I have this tool here. So let's just get this all done. I'm going to go to new database and I'm going to navigate over to a folder I already have set up on my desktop called MVP demo that's where I'm going to put the database for now I'm going to call it MVP demo and I'll give it an extension of SQLite save it immediately asks for a table. So let's go ahead with the table name of departments. And let's start adding fields. Department ID, integers, fine. And we're gonna have no nulls there, primary key and an auto increment field so that the rows automatically get numbered if they come in without that value. Department name, text, not null, URL, text, not null. Basically, it's going to be text, not null for the rest. Done. These are the columns we need. We can see the statement here. I'll go ahead and click OK to let it do its thing. All right. So we have a departments table, but if we browse for data, there's nothing here. I have a comma delimited text file. First row has column headings and the rest are values separated by commas. So we're going to import that. Go back to here and under File, Import, Table from a CSV file. Here it is. And I want to make sure that the table name is exactly the same name as the table name I have already in the database. If it's not the same name, it'll create another table. We don't want that. We want these value values to go right into this one. So I'll go ahead and click OK. It sees there's another one. Yes, I want the values in there. If we look at the browse data, here it is. Stretch this a little and we can see the values from the text file have been brought into that table. And that's about it. That's all we're gonna do with SQLite as far as creating tables and populating them right now. The next video will be 
using Visual Studio and we'll work with uh, C Sharp code there to do the typical add, remove, insert type of things with a database through C Sharp code there. So that'll do it for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.